Good day children. Hope you all are doing well, taking care of yourself and your families and concentrating on your studies. I am teacher Brinel Dabre and today we will be studying geography. In the previous lessons you have studied about differences in the location and extent, physiography and drainage and about climate. These factors have resulted in diversity in natural vegetation and wildlife. So in this chapter we are going to do a comparative study of India and Brazil with reference to natural vegetation and wildlife. Students you can see few images on your screen. Can you identify these pictures? So here are the names of these pictures. We have cactus, then is the paper tree and then is the tick. This is said to be the flora. And we have a bird named Rufus bellied thrush, then an animal jaguar and a reptile anaconda. This is the fauna. So where have you seen these plants before? You might have seen it on an internet or maybe in a book or you might have also seen it somewhere. And what about the fauna that has been shown over here? Where have you seen that? It could be on the internet or maybe you might have visited a zoo over there you might have seen. Okay. So you are able to recognize the species which are shown over here because there is similarity between them and many Indian species. But these species which are shown over here are found in Brazil. In this figure you can see the rainfall, flora and fauna of Brazil along with the physiography. It is a cross profile. It extends from 5 degrees 11 minutes north to 25 degrees 24 minutes south. You will notice that the changes occur in the above elements as you go from north to south. Here in this figure at the left you will see the height which is mentioned in meters. So from the north the first region is the Guyana Highlands which extends up to 400 kilometers. The rainfall over here is 1600 millimeters. The temperature is 21 degrees Celsius and we find tropical forests in Guyana Highlands. And the wildlife that we find over here is various types of apes. Next is Amazon Basin which extends to 1200 kilometers and the equator passes through this Amazon Basin. So here you will find the equatorial forests and as it is near the equator the rainfall received is the highest that is 2000 millimeters. The temperature over here is 28 degrees Celsius and the wildlife that is found in Amazon basin is reptiles, arboreal and aquatic animals. Arboreal means living in trees. Next is the Paraguay Parana Basin which extends up to 200 kilometers and we find deciduous forests over here and the wildlife is grassland animals are found. The temperature is 21 degrees Celsius in this Paraguay Parana Basin and the rainfall received is 1500 millimeters. Next we have Brazilian highlands which extend up to 2800 kilometers 
and in Brazilian highlands we find temperate forests. The rainfall received over here is 600 millimeters. The temperature is 23 degrees Celsius and the wildlife found is reptiles and grassland animals. Further we have coastal plains up to 3600 kilometers. The temperature over there is 27 degrees Celsius and the rainfall is 1200 millimeters. We will now study about the vegetation of Brazil and India. Brazil vegetation Brazil is gifted with the largest number of vegetation species in the world. Trees like Pau Brazil, Rubber, Mahogany, Rosewood and variety of orchids are found in Brazil. In chapter 2 we studied that the equator passes through the northern part of Brazil and hence the regions near the equator are called as equatorial regions. The rainfall in Brazil it varies due to its physiography. We find that it rains throughout the year in most parts of the equatorial region and as you go away from the equator the number of rainy days as well as the amount of rainfall reduces and this affects the life cycle of the vegetation too. Let's study the vegetation of Brazil according to the rainfall. Now here you will see in this table the vegetation of Brazil is divided as per the rainfall received that is according to the areas which receive high rainfall areas that receive medium rainfall and areas that receive low rainfall and it is also categorized according to the forests that are found in those areas and about the density of vegetation. First we shall study the vegetation in the areas of high rainfall. The number of rainy days and the amount of rainfall is highest near the equatorial region. So we find evergreen forests over here. These evergreen forests are also known as rainforests. Density of vegetation is found to be high in these forests. Evergreen rainforests in Brazil are also known as lungs of the world. It is because the trees in rainforests they draw in carbon dioxide and they give out oxygen. Thus, the rainforests helps in providing us with most of our required oxygen and absorbing the carbon dioxide. Due to these reasons, rainforests in Brazil are called the lungs of the world. Last year you might have heard in the news or read in the newspaper about the fire that was caught in the rainforests and the destruction that it has caused to the ecosystem. Now we will study about vegetation in the areas of medium rainfall. The number of rainy days and the amount of rainfall is comparatively less. So we find semi evergreen forests in such areas and the density of vegetation is found to be comparatively low in such forests. Third, vegetation in the areas of low rainfall. The number of rainy days and the amount of rainfall is very low. Hence, arid type of vegetation is found in such areas. Density of vegetation is found to be very low and instead of forests we find various types of grasses, shrubs, thorny vegetation etc. Let's study the forest regions in Brazil with reference to their extent. We shall study it from the north to south direction. These are the Guiana Highlands and this is the Amazon River Basin. This whole area is covered with the equatorial 
forests below that we have the tropical grasslands also known as savanna and below that towards the south we have the hot deciduous forests these are the hot deciduous forests and these are the tropical grasslands they are found in the paraguay parana river basin in the brazilian highlands over here and in the central parts of brazil towards the east we find thorny shrubs vegetation over here towards the west in the blue color over here you can see those are the swampy lands that have been found in the pantanal region and towards the extreme south you find temperate grasslands in the pampas region vegetation in india here in this table you will see the different types of forests which areas you find these forests then what are the characteristics of the trees that are found in the forests and which trees are found so our first forest we are studying is about evergreen forests we find evergreen forests in india where the regions receive rainfall more than 2000 mm and there is abundant sunshine the trees that are found in these forests they have broad and green leaves the wood of these trees is heavy hard and durable creepers are also found in evergreen forests and we find highest biodiversity in the evergreen forests the trees found in evergreen forests are mahogany rosewood and rubber second is deciduous forest we find deciduous forests in the regions receiving rainfall between 1000 mm to 2000 mm and in this forests we find that the trees they shed down their leaves to maintain the minimum level of water the trees found in deciduous forest are teak bamboo banyan and peepal the third type of forest that we find in india is thorny forest and shrub type vegetation we find this type of forest in the areas which receive less than 500 mm of rainfall the trees that are found in this forest they have small sized leaves and the trees found are katechu acacia kejri aloe vera and agave the next type is coastal forests which we find in swampy areas estuaries along the coasts and areas that have saline soil and moist climate so the trees that are found in this coastal forests are mangroves and sundari and regarding the characteristics of these trees the trees have light durable and oily wood the last type of forests we find in, in india are the himalayan forests which are found in the himalayan ranges and these forests are categorized according to their altitudes that is forests found at high altitude then forest found at medium altitude and forest found at the lower altitude or at the foothills so the characteristics of these trees is that they have needle shaped leaves and some of the flowering trees are seasonal in areas which are located in the highest altitude we find seasonally flowering trees in regions with medium altitude we find coniferous trees like pine devadar fir etc 
and at the foothills we find mixed forests which includes both the coniferous and the deciduous forest and here the proportion of sal trees is higher here in this map you can see the major forest types in india the evergreen forests they are shown in dark green color so here you all can see that we find evergreen forests deciduous forests are shown in light green color so this is the area which has been occupied by the deciduous forest in india then in gray color you can see the thorny shrubs that have been found then a lighter shade of gray you can see the himalayan forests here these are the himalayan forest over here and here and in blue color you can find the coastal forests see over here you all can see these are the coastal forests even in gujarat we move on to the wildlife of brazil and india first we will study about the wildlife of brazil we find huge anacondas in the swampy areas of pantanal the animals that are found in brazil are guinea pigs crocodiles alligators monkeys pumas leopards etc the fishes found are swordfish we find in the atlantic sea and in rivers we find pink dolphins and piranhas birds condors which are huge in size and fly high in the sky as well as various types of parrots macaws and flamingos are found we also find millions of varieties of insects in brazil as a result of these varieties the wildlife of brazil is very rich and diverse issues related to wildlife in brazil degradation of environment due to deforestation roca agriculture that roca agriculture means the land under forest is cleared by cutting and burning and on the same patch of land subsistence type of agriculture is followed for next few years then even illegal smuggling and hunting of animals is leading to the problems of extinction of endemic species endemic species or endemic means native and restricted to a certain place so the species that were been found in that area that is in brazil are on the verge of getting extinct Indian wildlife India is gifted with rich and diversified wildlife India is the only country in the world that has tigers as well as lions let's study about some more animals elephants are found in hot and humid forests one horned rhinoceros is found in the swampy and marshy lands of assam wild ass and camels are found in the arid deserts snow leopards and yaks are found in the snow capped regions of himalayas indian bison deer antelopes and monkeys are found in the peninsular regions turtles crocodiles and gharials are found in rivers estuaries and coastal regions we'll see about the birds found in india there is also a variety of birds found in india such as peacocks indian bustard kingfishers peasants 
ducks, parakeets, cranes, pigeons, etc. Issues related to wildlife in India Deforestation, illegal smuggling and hunting are the problems that are leading to the problem of extinction of endemic species. Chitta is extinct species in India. And what measures the government has taken to protect the wildlife? The government has set up a number of national parks, wildlife sanctuaries, bird sanctuaries and biosphere reserves for the protection of wildlife and forests in India. Students, here are some of the pictures of the flora and fauna of India and Brazil. You will find these pictures on the first page and on the last page of your geography textbook. And these are some of the trees we find in India and Brazil. This is on page number 37 in your geography textbook at the end of the lesson. Assignment. Children, you have to do this assignment in your geography notebook or in your social studies notebook or on the papers wherever you have been doing the assignments earlier and if you are doing it on a paper see to it that you will keep those papers properly filed your first question is answer the questions on the basis of the given figure you will find this map on page number 33 figure 5.3 you can refer over here or on page number 33 which forests are found in the western snow-capped regions? Second, on which coast do you mainly find the coastal vegetation? Third, which type of forests occupy maximum area in India? Why? Fourth, where do you find thorny shrub vegetation? Why? Question 2. Give reasons. Deciduous type of vegetation occupy most of India. Second, the evergreen rainforests in Brazil are called the lungs of the world. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care students. Thank you.